Hi guys! We are here at Kaiseniemi Botanical Garden in Helsinki, Finland and I want to show you uh, their orchid collection. This place is quite large and it has 10 interconnected glass houses. So I will not show you everything because it would take just too much time. But we will see the orchids and in another video I will film also the cactus and succulents and other plants. So, the first orchids are here in the palm glass house. This is a quite nice place. It's so warm and moist this uh, air and I really love being here. Uh, the botanical garden has, as I said, 10 interconnected glass houses and I'm going to show you here um, how it looks like. Uh, pause the video if you want to read the text. So we are watching the first orchids at the palm glass house and this is a very interesting bobophyllum. I could not see any any flowers here at all. There are no, no buds, no nor flowers, but this is a, such an, an amazing specimen. Look at the size of this thing. <laughs> oh, beautiful. I love the little roots. <laughs> and this is not a, an orchid. This is a cacao tree and but I had to show you because it's so amazing it has uh, all around it it has uh, buds and flowers uh, and um, the fruit growing too this is Hopia is preparing to bloom soon but let me show you first the size of this thing <laughs> it's enormous and it's one reason why I don't, I don't have a stanhopia at home, because they grow so large. You, you really need the space. You see a spike coming? They make these spikes through the bottom. This is another one of the same species, also making a spike. This might take some three weeks or more to grow. Amazing. Two weeks later, I expected to see the blooms, but they are just almost open. I really hoped I could show you this, <laughs> but they are not open yet. But you can see the size, they are amazing. Abrasa vola nudosa. I love this plant. I used to have a dendrobium aphilum. It dried. I gave it a too dry winter rest. It really needs a dry winter rest, but I, I should have sprayed it a bit. Here we have Paphiopedilums, another bubophyllum. In this place they have lots of Celogenes and bubophyllums, and also air plants and bromelias. Nice air plant, and it has buds. Little Celogeny Fimbriata. More Paphiopedilums.
I am the vanilla plant. Uh, this one here is so, so old and so big and it flowers too. I never managed to see the, uh, this one when it was in bud, but I have seen pictures. This grows really, really high up. It's amazing. <laughs> it's enormous. You really need a greenhouse to have one of these plants to bloom. And this Miltonia. Miltonia spectabilis. <laughs> it's enormous. Very, very beautiful specimen. This Phalaenopsis, I don't know how to pronounce it, is it Pulcra? It's from the Philippines and makes beautiful magenta flowers. This is uh, how it looks like from a distance. All the air plants and ferns and silogenies. Another orchid, and this is a very large one. Very impressive. I wish there was at least something in bloom right now. This is a Dendrobion um, kingiano. It's smaller than the ones we see often. An Angrecon. This one is large. It has three fans. It's beautiful. I came here today because I wanted to see this one, the Androbium chrysanthemum. I had seen pictures in a friend's um, Facebook page and it had beautiful blooms, so I had to see it. But I got here a bit late because I could not go immediately and these flowers don't last long, so there is only one that is still fresh, but most of the others have uh, already started to dry. It's an amazing and large dendrobium. As you can see, the flowers are already almost gone. I love how furry the lip is. It has a scent, but um, it's not as fresh anymore. But let's check it again, the one that is still beautiful. I apologize, the light is so yellow. It's from this um, light they have here. My, my camera cannot capture the real color. But see how fuzzy the lip is. It's so fuzzy. It's so delicate and beautiful. Cute. <laughs> And it's so hairy from the outside of the lip too. See all the hair? <laughs> it's so golden, it's beautiful. Golden with um, some sort of very dark red. It's almost a, a red wine color. Really nice. Well, I'm glad that I managed to see at least one flower. <laughs> I was so late. Dendrobium nobile species, very large one. Celogeny flaccida, it's a beautiful specimen, really large. 
there is something moving here somewhere. I can hear something. I, I think that's a bird. They have sometimes these um, windows on the roof that are open and birds make nests here. But let's see how beautiful this is. Selogenies, they get so large. There are Selogenies cristatas here too. See, they are so nice. I miss my Selogeny Cristata, but I had to give it away because uh, in my balcony it just doesn't get enough light. It's hard to make it to bloom if our summer is rainy. But I get to see them here and at the winter garden. As you can see, they grow really large. Sometimes some of these plants, they have been from people who bought them and gave them up because they grew too large and they grow fast too. I prefer to st stick with Cattleyas. <laughs> Much easier and more manageable. <laughs> As you can see, it has bloomed quite nicely in the spring. Ah, here is one of the nests. I knew there were birds here. <laughs> I could hear something. And there is a nest up there too. And I know there is something moving here. It's hiding now. <laughs> I was looking at this. At this little fern. I love this kind. And then I saw the biggest mealybug I had ever seen. This is at least one centimeter. Even maybe more. <laughs> it's a little monster. Oh, <laughs> it's sort of cute and at the same time disgusting. <laughs> oh, they are everywhere here. This little orchid is in another glass house. It's the rainforest house. And uh, as you can see, it has black mold growing all over it. It's too moist and they keep um, the ventilation off during the visiting hours. And I don't think this is a good idea because you can see the mold. But at the same time, you can see how resilient orchids are because it's, it has lots of buds coming. Do you see buds? It, it wants to bloom even with the black mold covering some spikes. Still at the rainforest house, more orchids and an angricum. This one is so beautiful. Let's take this leaf off. <laughs> Ancelia gigantea, or how do you pronounce it? I wish I could have seen the flowers, and they, it makes beautiful flowers. More bubble films. There is an uh, Arangis here too, let's see. Arangis confu Confusia. Or how do we pronounce it? This is not an orchid, but it's so beautiful. Well, uh, I'm finishing my video about their orchid collection here. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. And I, in another video, I will, f I will show you the cacti and succulents and streptocarpus and the water lily pound. So stay tuned and check the part two. Bye bye.